Stickler syndrome is an inherited disorder. It is autosomal dominant, and it's one of the most common connective tissue disorders. Stickler syndrome affects collagen structure and function in various places. Stickler syndrome is generally rare, affecting around 1 in 7,500 to 9,000 people. Stickler syndrome is very difficult to diagnose as it affects everyone differently, and there is almost no way to diagnose it right away. Actually, a lot of cases go undiagnosed until the individual's children are diagnosed. A lot of cases probably go undiagnosed as they are very mild or occur in an area where it is hard to diagnose. Because of this, the disorder is most likely more common than observed. There are a few different ways to test for this disorder. X-rays are very common and eye tests are also very common. There are five different types of stickler. Type 1 affects 70% of all diagnosed cases and can cause almost any of the symptoms that come from the disorder, although it almost always causes osteoarthritis. Type 2 is less common than type 1, but is very similar. The biggest difference between type 1 and 2 is that there are less ocular symptoms in type 2. Type 3 has recently been labeled as OSMED, which is a similar but different disorder. Types 4 and 5 are extremely rare and have only been spotted in a few intermarried families. In 1965, a paper called Hereditary Progressive Arthroophthalmology was published. This was the first time that Stickler syndrome was observed, although it only looked at the joint and ocular symptoms. Later, a study was done that described the patterns of symptoms. This study showed a lot about the disease and how to diagnose it. The known genes that cause the disorder are COL9A2 on chromosome 1 and COL9A1 on chromosome 6. The affected protein is collagen, specifically type 2 collagen. This is the type most commonly found in structural tissues. Because of this, there is a very wide range of symptoms. Some ocular symptoms are progressive sight loss and cataracts. The skeletal symptoms are arthritis, scoliosis, and shortened fingers. Also, a flatter face is common. Another common symptom is progressive hearing loss. There is a rare form of the disorder called the Pierre Robbins sequence. This causes a cleft palate and worsened symptoms of Stickler. If this is seen in a newborn, it requires immediate treatment. There is no cure for Stickler and the treatments are for individual symptoms, not the disorder as a whole. The most common treatments are corrective surgeries, which can help a lot of the symptoms. Also, certain technology like contact lenses or hearing aids are a huge help. Avoiding contact sports is usually a recommendation for patients. Overall, patients can live very normal lives once their symptoms are treated. Also, this is not always true, but sometimes symptoms will improve as the patient ages. Research is currently being conducted on better diagnosis and better treatments. Thank you for watching and we hope you learned a lot.